wiring up the new Toyota Tacoma Sport Bar. Well, good morning everybody, how are you? And that's right, today I'm gonna to be wiring up the new Toyota Tacoma Sport Bar. Now, why do I have to wire anything? Well, because it comes with a third brake light, you can see up there. So what I'm gonna do, we have this track here and the wire comes out right there. I'm gonna take it down, put it behind its own bracket, and then I'm gonna tuck it in behind the um, track bar, the track, the bar, whatever you wanna call it, this little bar here. Um, we're going to run it across the top of that. We're going to come out here, hopefully underneath this lip so it's hidden. And then right here, uh, I can actually get down below to access the wiring on the brake light, which is what I need to tap into. So I've got the track bar, um, or the track, pulled down a little bit so I can tuck that wire in. Here's the other end of it. Um, it just plugs in there to there. We'll tape it up and then I'll just tuck it in behind, put the bar back up, and you shouldn't see anything, I don't think. That's the plan anyway, to keep this as hidden as possible. So, let me go ahead and put that in, then we'll take a look at it once I have it up and see if I accomplished my goal. Okay, we've got the wire run in right down there where that uh, tube is. Comes down, goes right across, you can't even see it, and that's because bar here actually overhangs a little bit, so it enables me to bring it down where this bar is, up there, um, and then just bring it down on the edge, you can't even see it. Came out really well, uh, even better than I had hoped. Ran it right across the top, it's not bound or anything. Now, we just have to pull it through and then get it into this tail light area. Um, need to take the tail light off. To do that, it's pretty simple. You have this bolt here, the second one down, I believe, uh, and then the one on the bottom here, and that should enable me to pull the tail light so I can get it connected up. We'll do that next. I am done. Uh, here's a little recap for you. Um, I did put some washers. You guys might be able to see yeah, right in there on the sides. Because frankly, if you put this bar up against the side like it's supposed to be, then it overhangs out here by about yay far. I didn't like that. I certainly didn't want that look. So I took up that space on the inside by putting washers there. I suppose that's the downfall of a universal uh, sport bar because this fits many different trucks. Um, not a big deal. Just a little bit of a, an adaptation, I guess. Um, I did run the wiring down the sides, as I told you guys. Uh, right there is where it comes um, from behind the rack. You can't see it otherwise. Everything is hidden behind the uh, little overhang here or in between the rack. When I say the rack, I mean this channel, this track, um, and the side of the truck. So it just comes down here, goes inside, and then feeds down to the tail light. Um, which is what I tapped into for the third brake light up there. I'll show you that in just a minute, so hang tight if you want to see what that looks like. Um, I will tell you, the, there are no directions that come with this as far as the wiring goes. That's a downfall, I think. Uh, but if you tap into the blue, it is the blue wire on the 2020 Toyota Tacoma anyway. The blue wire uh, on the plug, or the harness, I guess, the plug, it's the plug, for the tail light, that will get you power for your third brake light. And then I just grounded it via uh, a bolt that was back behind here. So not a big deal there. Um, otherwise, everything went pretty smoothly. It was time consuming. I spent about a day and a half doing this. Now, in all fairness, I did take my time um, <laughs> in doing things. Uh, a couple things I wanna point out that came with the kit, uh, the fasteners here. Uh, and by the way, this is everything I have left over. They send you enough fasteners so that if you don't have the track on your truck, you can actually drill down through and bolt it 
uh, through your rail. I would never do that. I would get the track if you don't have it. But a couple of the fasteners they sent, this is supposed to go in the track, right? You stick this in the track and then you're supposed to be able to bolt to this. Uh, it's too short. It does not work. Uh, it's a great idea, and then it doesn't stand up straight in there either. It's a little too wide, if you will, too long. So this is a fail. Um, I ended up using bolts um, that fit in the track, something very similar to this. This just fit in the track, and then I bolted to these. I did have to get longer ones, by the way. Um, these things. <sighs> the bed bar itself the roll bar, we're just gonna go with roll bar from now on. The roll bar actually attaches to this um, piece here that fastens it to your track, and it screws up from underneath. Now, these are designed to be flat, of course, against what you're screwing into so that this sits flush. They did give you a little bit of foam under here for padding, which is nice. However, these bolts that they included with the uh, kit are too big, they don't fit. They don't fit in the threaded inserts that are inside the tubing here. So they do not work. Great idea, but they don't work. You can see maybe if you look real close under there, I don't know if it'll pick it up or not, but the bolts I used do make it sit up just a hair higher on this side. I guess I didn't torque it as much as I did the other side because it sits flush. So you are able to pull it down uh, as much as you need to. I just didn't get that one quite as tight as this one apparently. Not a big enough deal for me to worry about. Um, you can see here's the gapping over here. And then if you look here, there's the gapping there. Just a little bit different. Again, not really a, a huge deal for me. I don't really care. Uh, the shape of it when it came, I will tell you there was a little, I didn't discover this until I had it together. Uh, a little indentation here in the tubing where there's a little bit of a lip there. It's not bad, but I know it's there. And you can compare that to the other side, which did not have that, which just sits almost flush. I mean, it is inside a little rubber foot or boot, if you will. Um, I may have done it myself in messing with the tubing. I don't know. I don't recall smashing anything hard enough for that to happen, but uh, it's possible. So... Um, I'm going to take it out. I'll uh, get some pictures at the end here. You guys can see. I'll show you the third brake light here in just a second. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. I love the look of it on the Tacoma. I think it looks pretty darn cool. I do have one piece left. It's not ready yet. There'll be uh, a blue backing to match the truck behind this uh, black horse lettering. Typically, I'm not a big fan of company names on things, to be honest, but since it's there, it looks pretty cool. And you could take this off. I don't have to have this piece on here. It just screws on. I could remove it so that it was open, and maybe I will someday. Who knows? But for now, we're going with it the way that it came because I'm kind of digging it. Now, one further thing I'll add before I sign off here. I think the thing that makes this particular roll bar is the extension of it along here. I think this elongates the bed and only that part up there, if that's all you had from here up, I think it would shorten the bed. So I think it looks pretty cool. I like how beefy the tubing is. It's probably three inch tubing, I'm not sure. Uh, but I do think it's an awesome look for the Tacoma. And to be honest, um, I really do like it a little bit better. Uh, than I did from an aesthetic standpoint or a look standpoint than that bed rack. Although the bed rack is handy. It has its purpose. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Again, there'll be pictures at the end uh, as well as what the third break looks like. But let me know what you think of it. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And I have a third channel now. It's got uh, Civic videos, Honda Civic stuff, Civic Type R stuff. If you're interested in that, check it out. They are older videos that I'm moving over from this channel. Uh, but there will be some new stuff coming to that channel here in not too long. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Stay safe out there. Bye.